Hello there, Scorpio. Welcome. This is going to be a reading. Um, of, uh, should you trust this person? So it could be someone. Oops, starting out with a card already. It could be someone um, that you work with. It could be someone that you're interested in romantically. It could be someone that date you dated or married to, or it could be a family member, a friend. So whoever it comes to mind, you'll feel the energy of who this should be. Okay, what is this person's intention? This popped out. I think they want to bring something back to life. Uh, ending that um, happened between you guys. Scorpio energy. So it's your energy too. They're really interested in you. Especially with the, your card coming up here. So they want to transform this. They want to bring this ending back around. Okay. And um, should you trust this person again? Or trust this person if you're someone new? Huh. Choices, confusion. You're not sure. Okay. Let's see now. Will a relationship or a friendship with this person be beneficial for you? You could learn something here. Do you have an Ace of Wands of um, There might be a lot of passion. You might learn something. This person, um, this is like communication. Start of some kind of communication. Yeah, you could learn something from them, maybe. Uh, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. Let's um, clarify. Why do we have the death card here for what this person's intentions are? Five of Wands. They're conflicted. <laughs> they might want to argue with you. <laughs> You know, but I think if they want to argue, if they want to argue for this connection, <clears throat> so they might be willing to fight for this connection and fight you for it. <laughs> okay. Or they might just be someone that likes to cause conflict, too. Um, let's see here. Well, should you trust this person or trust them again if you already, if you have been with them before, or know them well? Let's see. We have, ooh, the devil energy, Capricorn energy. I don't think you really do trust them. You're not, you're really not sure what they're up to. There's a lot of confusion. It's like, why do they come back? What do they want? Or it could be just saying that this is a Capricorn. Okay, what about this page of swords? Will a relationship or friendship with this person be beneficial? We have the, you will learn things or something. You'll learn something. Something might be revealed, maybe. And then we have justice. Okay. Well, that's good. There will be this justice in the situation. Maybe there's going to be something revealed here that you're not expecting. Okay, now let's go on to... Oh, here's on the bottom of this deck. We do have the Three of Wands. This, this person's been waiting a long time to make a move to talk to you. They're looking back out to the future, too. Okay, let's see. Overall advice or, or outcome for this. Let me just move this up a little bit. Justice Libra, I think I said that. And the um, page of stores, Aquarius Libra, Gemini. Okay. Okay, there could be a commitment here. Wow, there'd be happiness too. So yeah, this doesn't look too bad. You're just not sure about what they're up to. You can't read them or there's something here that's very confusing about them. But they want a long-term commitment. Or if it's in business, a, a company or something, they... um. They want you in their company. If that's who, if it's someone coming to you about a job, you're not sure. Okay, let's see. Taurus energy of a higher thing. Let's clarify this card. Ooh. We have the strength, Leo energy. This would be a very strong connection. This would be a long, strong, committed connection and a lot of happiness with son Leo here. Got Leo here twice. And then we also have the King of Swords, Aquarius, um, Libra, Gemini. There's, the, I think you can get a lot of knowledge with, from this person. So it would be a beneficial um, connection here. Okay, now, let's see. We'll ask. What is this feelings, what is this person's thoughts about you? What is this person's thoughts about you? They think you're destined to be together. This is um, divine timing, destiny, luck, 
they feel very lucky to know you to have you in their life ace of coins they seem that together you can make a lot of money or you can have something a, a golden opportunity here is what they see with you that's their thoughts about you okay let's clarify that Ooh, yes things moving quickly um their thoughts are to move things along quickly have a lot of conversations and look the wheel of fortune again yeah this person sees you as destined lucky good fortune of that they think that together you guys make a uh, excellent partnership whether it's in love or business or wherever this person is okay what about their feelings towards you seems like they think about you a lot and they're they're just really trying in their thoughts about how to get this to work will you accept them they're not sure about it and here comes the ace of coins on the bottom end but they see this as an opportunity they feel like you guys are meant to be together they also see you as very clever because if you look at these um i think you're very clever together because you have um the squirrel, the squirrel's very resourceful. You have an owl who's very wise, and also you have the fox that's very sly. So I think together they think that you make a really good pair here. Okay. What about this three of wands? What about this three of wands? Yeah, they feel like you're be even balanced between you two, even give and take. And then we have also the knight of wands. A lot of passion and fire here. This person um, wants to come to you quickly. Yeah, they really want something to happen here. Okay, now, what action are they going to take towards you? What action are they going to take? They're trying to make a decision. They're waiting here. They're, I think they're really waiting for the right timing. They want to heal this. So whatever happened between you two, they want to heal this. They're working on healing. Maybe they might even be healing themselves. Okay. Now the two or ones, that's a decision. And it's, this person's pointing towards the past. Okay, why do we have the two or ones here? The Eight of Swords. They feel kind of trapped in their head here. They don't know what to do because they want this Ten of Cups with you. They see a lot of emotional happiness with you. They really think that you guys will have a great connection. All right. So now let's see. Let's see. Who do we have here? Let's, um, well, you know, I think we have to put something on this um, devil card. Why is the devil card here? Maybe just doing people, but I want to know about this devil. <laughs> we have never talk, never talked before. Okay, so now maybe they, you got this person did not open up to you, or it's someone you never met before, and, you, and someone new, and you're saying, "Gee, I don't know about this person." Maybe you never talked to them before, but this is, could be that they're saying that. This person does not open up or someone does not open up. So you don't that's why you don't really know about them. What about this um page of swords? What about the page of swords here? We have intruder TikTok reunite. Okay, this person wants to reunite with you, so you do know them. And um so they feel like there's someone might be intruding on this connection or trying to keep you away. This also is a spy card. So someone could be watching and being aware that this person wants to, you know, contact you or um, connect with you again. But the time is running out. They have to make a move, or else or else there's someone around you that they see as an intruder, and they're running out of time. So they're gonna have to make a move on you, or else lose you. Let's see. Do we have any more? Okay, so if we don't have any more, um, I will do, I'll do these two because I don't see any more, um, people here. So let's call on the death card because that is your card. Give me some information on this, on the, the death in this, um, fighting here or this competition or whatever it's going to be. It could be competition, yeah. 
love. Ooh, shock. Maybe it was a shock when you guys broke up. Feelings, feelings of love. And likely. Like you, you or else this is someone, for some of you, it might be someone you don't, aren't aware of this. And they're going to shock you with their feelings of love. Because you do have the tower here. Which is um, Scorpio and Aries energy. So they're going to shock you with whatever this happens here. This is going to be shocking. Okay, so now let's go on to the Hierophant here. Why do we have the Hierophant here? We have single, third party, later. Okay, so you guys were probably together. Third party came in, and then after that, you were you were done with this person. You became single. It's like that's it. After you found out about third party, now this is not going to be for everyone. So take it if it resonates with you. If it's not your situation, then don't try to make it fit. Okay, guys. So now we're going to go right to the signs because someone did not like my name so doing the dice they wanted me to stop it so I'm not going to stop it but what I'm going to do is whoever doesn't want to um, see those signs I mean see the names pulled um, you're welcome to leave right after I do these the signs because that will be everything up until the names and this way you're not missing anything and um, I appreciate you guys coming so let's see what signs we're dealing with we have Sagittarius Libra, Cancer, Capricorn, Scorpio, and Scorpio again. Wow. So look how many times you came up on the, on your reading. That's great. You're here. And then, of course, do we have any cups? No cups. Cards. But then with the tower, that's, that's your energy, too. And then we have to Scorpio. So you could be dealing with another Scorpio because someone can have Scorpio in their placements in their chart or you can also have these signs in your chart. They can have signs in the chart. It could be other people. So let's, we have Sagittarius, Libra, Cancer, Capricorn, Scorpio, and Scorpio. Of course it could be any sign. This is a general reading. Um, so just so you're aware. And um, please let me know if it resonates. Please leave comments. And I just want to say I love you guys. I appreciate all you like, share, subscribe, and comments. And if you want to get notified every time I load up videos, you just have to hit that bell and you'll get an email. Okay, for those who are, are leaving, thank you for coming. I hope you have a great day. And now we'll go on with the, the names. Let's see if names are going to come up. We have T. So for T, we have Tamara, Tammy, Tamra, Tandra, Tanja, Tasha. T, Teresa, is T-E-R-E-S-A. Now we have Teresa, T-E-R-E-S-S-A. And then we have also Teresa, T-H-E-R-E-S-A. Timby, um, Thomas, Tim, Tiffany, Timothy, Tina, Tino, Talisha, Turner, Tyler, Tyrell, Tyrone, and Tamika, T-A-M-I-C-K-A. Okay, next one. We have you. So for you, we have Ugar, Ugo, Ula, Urek, Eureka, Ulisi, Umberto, um, Amelco, um, Amico, Uriel, Usher, and Uyushi. G. For G, we have Gabriel, Gary, with two R's, Gary, one R. Garave, G-A-U-R-A-V-I, Jeff, Jerry, with G-E-R-I, and then we have Jerry, G-E-R-R-Y, Gia, Gloria, Grace, and Graham. And then for D, D, we have Daisy, Dakisha, Dana, Daniel, Daryl, David, De Dana, D. D-A-Y-N-A, Debbie, Deborah, Denise, Diana, Diane, Deanie, Deb, Dobie, Dolly, Dosi, and Darling. Okay. Last one. 
we have C here. Okay, oh, this is the longest one. Okay, guys. <sighs> okay, here we go. Kelly, Calvin, Camille, Cara, Carl, Carla, Carlene, Carmen, Caroline, Carrie, Cassandra, Charles, Charlie, Chase, Chastity, Chauncey, Charisse, Chatina, Chris, Christy, Christina, Christopher, Christy, what a Y, Claren, Cindy, I.E., Cindy Y., Clara, Claudia, Clements, Colleen, Colin, Colin, Connie, Corey, Cornelia, Courtney, Crystal, and Cynthia. Okay, so those are all the names. So um, thank you all for viewing this um, video. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope to see you all again real soon. Thank you so much.